Welcome everyone to this episode of the Ask Jason Jellius Show. I'm Jason Jellius, Michigan Realtor, and I appreciate you tuning in to this episode where I will be sharing with you six weird house smells and whether or not you should be concerned, right? I'm going to be sharing with you the level of urgency when you smell any of these six smells. Let's dive into it. So the first one is a fishy odor. The level of urgency on this is high. So if you smell something fishy, it is uh, not harmless, right? For the most part. <clears throat> now, you shouldn't ignore it. Um, common locations of a fishy smell could be near uh, like walls, near light switches or outlets, uh, around electrical panels, uh, typically in garages or basements, and near appliances that have recently been overworked or they're old and they're breaking down, okay? What, what you could do is turn off and unplug any appliances that are not in use. Do not use any outlets or switches that feel warm to the touch. And call an, a qualified electrician to diagnose the problem if there is a problem and make repairs. Do not attempt to fix electrical issues yourself, okay? So, the second smell, weird smell, is sewage. The level of urgency on this is eh, moderate to high. Um, sewage smells are unmistakable and unpleasant. They're nasty. Okay, it can be nasty. So, uh, methane, one of the main gases in sewage, can become flammable or even leak into the home, posing a serious health risk. So, where can you find this? Well, you, you can find the sewage smell in leaking or cracked pipes, um, blocked air vents, clogged drains, and uh, even the pee traps that are under under your sink it's like this and it holds water so that sewage gas doesn't come into your home if, if that's dried out sewage gas can actually get in right uh you find those un under faucets under sinks and under, even toilets have them so um that's something to be aware of and the preventative on that is never pour grease or food scraps down drains even if you have a disposal, uh, regularly boil, pour boiling water down drains to prevent grease buildup. Hot water, as hot as you can get it, boil it, pour it down drains like a kitchen sink drain, uh, and it, it will break up that grease that can pile up. And have your sewer line inspected uh, every few years. Third yucky smell is ammonia. Now, the level of urgency on this is high because um, if it's not if it's not tied to cleaning products, uh, that could indicate a couple different issues. A strong ammonia smell, for example, near your refrigerator, could be a sign of a leak in the a leak in the coolant lines or even the defrost pan under your fridge. Um, and this can even cause a fire hazard. Uh, washing machine hoses can actually deteriorate over time, causing a leak that releases ammonia. Um, because you're putting cleaning products inside the washer, right? Uh, laundry detergent has ammonia in it. And if you have bad washing machine hoses where they're, they're actually breaking away, then that could leak out ammonia. Um, some more common locations, you know, near freezers, refrigerators, utility rooms or laundry rooms. I, I mentioned the washing machine uh, around floor drains, bathrooms near drains or toilets, which is less common. Uh, behind sheetrock and inside crawl spaces where small animals can get in, okay? Um, so how to prevent that? Well, inspect your washing machine hoses for cracks or wears, right? I mentioned that. Replace them when necessary. They're very cheap. Washing machine hoses, I th they're not even that, that much. They might be 40 bucks, 50 bucks, right, for a pair of them. Um, seal any gaps or holes around pipes that could allow rodents to enter your home. Don't don't let rodents get, in, get into your home. Uh, and then replace the washing machine hoses. Uh, they recommend every five to seven years. And get the metal ones, the flexible metal ones. Don't get the rubber hose ones, okay? Number four, rotten eggs. Now I like eggs, but I don't like them rotten. So a rotten egg smell is one of the most concerning odors in a home. It should have been number one, but we, we saved the best for almost last, right? So this unpleasant uh, smell can be an indicator of a gas leak. You don't see gas, but when you smell rotten eggs, that usually means you have a gas leak. Usually, unless you burnt some eggs or you, le you left expired eggs in your fridge, okay? Uh, but it can be caused by natural gas, propane, or hydrogen sulfide. 
not to get all scientific on you. Common locations around gas appliances, so stoves, water heaters, furnaces, uh, near gas pipelines or connections, and in poorly ventilated areas or even crawl space. If you're not familiar with the crawl spaces, it's when a home doesn't have a basement, but it has a crawl space underneath the floor where it's just enough space for someone to crawl and that's where all your pipes are, your heat, <clears throat> excuse me, your heat, heating and cooling, uh, duct work, all that's underneath your, your home in the crawl space, okay? If you're not familiar with, with what a crawl space is. How to, how to prevent a gas leak? Well, regularly have your gas appliances serviced by a professional. Install carbon monoxide detectors in your home. Test them every month. You should have one on every floor, I believe. Uh, avoid using a gas stove or oven for heating. Never use that for heating. Number five, a damp or musty smell. This is common. The level of urgency on this is, this, is actually low to moderate because it, it is common to, to kind of smell some dampness or musty. And I'm saying common, not normal. So a persistent damp or musty odor in a home can be more than unpleasant, but a sign of a moisture control problem. It's associated with mildew growth, uh, a relative of mold that thrives in damp environments. So that can, you know, definitely contribute to that smell. So damp or musty smell could be, you know, leaky pipes, uh, roofs or air conditioners that create excess humidity and lead to uh, an overly damp environment. How to prevent it? Well, it, it, it's tough, but um, you can use exhaust fans in bathrooms and kitchens when in use. Uh, you can open windows to allow fresh air to come in. You can uh, dry damp surfaces promptly with a towel. Don't let wet towels or wet clothes pile up. Wipe down condensation on walls or windows. Regularly check around pipes, faucets, windows, and the roof for signs of moisture buildup. Last yucky smell, nasty smell, is a sweet smell, which you wouldn't think would be on this list, but it is. The level of urgency on this is low to moderate, but a sweet smell in your home might seem pleasant, but it can indicate a serious issue. For example, a coolant leak from a refrigerator, an air conditioner, or even a heat pump, if you have a heat pump. Uh, air conditioners and refrigerators rely on coolant to function. That's, that's what gives you that cold air. Coolant can be toxic if inhaled or ingested. So promptly addressing that leak is extremely important. Uh, I wanna share with you the common locations where you can find this sweet smell that I mentioned. Uh, which still still can be over overpowering. Uh, you can find it around air conditioning units or refrigerators, probably even freezers too, near heat pumps, like I mentioned, under sinks or near cabinets. That means there's a leak behind a leak behind them. Uh, some preventative measures: just schedule regular maintenance for your air conditioner and, re and refrigerator by a professional, and inspect for leaks around these appliances periodically, every so often. So, um, so hope you guys found this valuable. Go ahead and share your thoughts. Have, did I miss a smell that you have experienced in a home, whether it's your own or a guest home? Um, I know sometimes pets smell too, but that's not really dangerous. Um, but anyway, uh, I really appreciate you watching. Go ahead and share your thoughts in the comments. And I invite you to follow me on social media as well as uh, like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Otherwise, I'm Jason Jellius, Michigan Realtor, and I appreciate you watching.